so today we'll be starting with uh, the third class and we'll be starting with the functions uh, so today's class will be very interesting because now we are actually you know moving into last class we have done logical functions if and or not and logical operators today we'll be building on we'll be learning different numerical uh, functions very simple very easy and if we get time we'll be moving to some difficult functions or functions which are actually used in advanced excel which is vlookup and index match and these two are the functions which is very much widely used and you will be seeing these fun functions being used a lot also when you are going for any interviews these are the functions that they ask you right if you know excel you should know these functions very nicely right so let's start i'm using the same data for the time being okay now here uh, i'll be starting with the basic functions for that i'll be asking a few questions and we'll answer those questions using these new functions that we learn or the numeric functions that we'll learn right so one second same here um anyone please share this data which i shared yesterday the link in the chat box just share it for others please okay so um all right so here let us ask the very first question the very first question that we have over here is um how many how many sales or many how many policy holders we have so basically now if you are asking this particular question you can just simply see that we have 16 policy holders what if we are having a very large data set then obviously you will not be able to just scroll down and see how many rows how many columns you have right so for that we will be using a function called the count function so we will be using the count function it's uh, share uh, share ho gaya chat box mein so we will be using the count function this function this function counts the number of cells in a range that contains numbers so it will only count those cells which will contain numbers not the text value this is very important you should know this now when we open the bracket now i'll just simply don't use your mouse just use your left arrow i'll use left arrow and let us select maybe the age or you can select the charges right you can select the charges we'll select the entire charges now how what is the shortcut we use control shift down control shift down will select the entire column at once control shift down will select the entire column at once close the bracket click on enter and you have 16 policy holders you have 16 policy holders right so this is the count function now my next question my next question is my next question is let me do one thing cut paste and let me make this as okay better my next question is uh, how many policy holders how many policy holders are there question remains the same just that i don't want to uh, you know count the charges column i want to count the gender column can we use the count function c o n c o u n t can we use the count function let's check i'm moving into the gender column i'm again selecting control shift down the entire column and hit enter the moment you do this you get the answer as zero now what this zero will mean what this zero will mean over here is that it is not counting the values because these values are not numeric these are text values so basically count function will only count the numeric cells it will only take into account the numeric cells so here instead of that there is a function called count a see when i'm typing count we have list of all the functions which 
contains the word count so i'll just click on down arrow to move to count a and it says just read the description it says count the number of cells in a range that are not empty so it will count all the numeric as well as the character data provided it's not empty provided the data provided the cell is not empty so it will count all the non empty cells for us clear fine so i will select this count a hit tab and it selects the entire count a and opens the first first bracket for you hit tab and it selects the entire count a and opens the first bracket now i will just simply select the entire gender column control shift down close the bracket hit enter and you have your count this is count a for you fine try to solve this arushi it's fine now yes okay all right um next we have let's take out what was the or what is the maximum charges applied what is the maximum charges applied so very simple question is maximum charges and we'll be calculating we'll be calculating the maximum of this entire cell range now yeah, remember in my very first class i was talking something about the status bar so what is the status bar when you select a group of cells a range of cells you get something over here you get some you get count it might differ from for yours uh, in my case we are having average we are having count we are having some etc right in my case uh, we have some count average etc so these are basically status bar which shows us the status of the selected cells now what you can do is you can adjust these just right click and you can adjust whatever you want if you want maximum minimum you can also get the maximum minimum from here so we have the for the selected cells we have the maximum we have the minimum we have the count we have the average and we have the sum right right this is known as the status bar and once you deselect the cells the status bar is gone basically all the values over here which were shown the summarized values were are gone so it's a quick a uh, way of you know understanding what's the mean what's the average what's the maximum obviously you cannot put it somewhere in your sheet it's just for your understanding when you're dealing with the data and i just want to know quickly so i've selected and i just know the values over here right now what is the maximum charges applied so we'll use the function max we'll use the function max again open the bracket and select the entire charges column close the bracket hit enter and we have the maximum charges as 39611.76 as we got in the status bar so now you can guess uh, now you can guess that uh, we have the max function so for minimum we'll be having we'll be having what function minimum function very good we'll be having minimum function so you just simply select minimum and you select again the entire column control shift down control shift left control shift right control shift up is to select the entire way to move to the right you just press control left control left control right control up control down this is for navigation okay and control shift right means you select the entire place right that is how we do it maximum minimum any doubts till here next i want to take out next i want to take out the sum of all the charges so what is the total charges amount what is the total charges amount so basically i want the sum of this entire column so again i'll be writing the function sum i'll be writing the function sum select and you have the sum one more thing just look at over here one more thing there's a shortcut again that we learn for the sum function so when you keep your cursor here when you keep your cursor below the charges column and you click on alt equal to alt 
equal to alt equal to see what happens the moment you press alt equal to you will get the sum function and the cells are selected by itself you don't have to change anything so alt equal to is the shortcut for sum it only applies when you are taking out the sum of the entire column and you are calculating it beneath the column correct right alt equal to and we have the sum and we have the sum right right try to solve this my next question will be the average cha charges applied what is the average charges applied and the function we will use is the average function and the function we will use is the average function try to do this I will just come back in a minute and till then you will be telling me whether you have done it till here also try to match your answers with me right convert all the values we have the average I, I hope you all have the average now just match your answers with me fine okay now after this my next question is my next question over here is what is the second highest charge so max function will give us the highest charge but we want the second highest charge so the function that we use over here is the large function large function will give you the kth largest value in the data set so when I say kth data you can keep you can take out the second highest you can take out the third highest you can take out the last highest whatever is whatever is what whatever you want to calculate right so here this is my array and then when you give comma you have to write the kth value which is the second highest or the third highest or the fourth highest so I want to take out the second highest so I'll be writing 2 over here I'll be writing 2 if you write 3 you'll get the third highest if you write 4 you'll get the fourth highest and so on right so we have the second highest using the large function The next question that we have over here is what is the third lowest charge? Now similar to second highest we use the large function. There is a function called small function. Small function. So you have to firstly select the array. 
you have to select the array and then what will I write over here kth smallest value I will write 3 we want the third lowest charge we want the third lowest charge right clear close the bracket hit enter close the bracket hit enter and we have the third lowest charge right now next I think one of the very interesting uh, functions for example I want to count um, I want to count the number of policy holders listen to this carefully I want to count the number of policy holders who are female smokers how many female smokers I want to count the policy holders who are female and also who are smokers so here I will not be able to use simply the count function we have a condition along with the count function the condition is or maybe let me just for the time being take female how many female policy holders right we'll do female smokers later so how many policy holders are female so here we don't just have to count the range of cells we also have a condition applied and the condition is that the gender should be female correct fine all right so I'll be using a function called count if count if it counts the number of cells within a range given a condition here we have this entire range of cells and what is our condition it should be a female it should be a female so now open the bracket sorry open the bracket the first listen to this carefully the first argument that we have over here the first argument that we have over here is the range of cells that we have to select right so I'll be selecting this range of my gender gender range why why because we want to apply the condition on this range so you all can write it down you all can make a note count if the first argument is the condition range range to which you have to apply your condition condition range range to which you have to apply your condition right so I'll be selecting the entire gender column correct correct now comma what is the criteria what is the criteria the criteria is it should be a female it should be a female so here what I can write here what I can write I will have to give it in quotes female female just you have to so basically what Excel will do Excel will go one by one to all these cells it will check whether it's a female if it's a female it will take it to take it into consideration if it's a male it will not take this into consideration so it, if it is female considered 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 so this is how it will calculate all the other cells which does not contain the value female will not be calculated fine you are, have the answer as 7 you all can just check you all can just count it manually and you all can check we have 7 female policy holders out of 16 fine okay now we'll ask our next question now we'll ask our next question our next question is our next question is um, how many male policy holders with charges greater than huh. 
Um, let's keep it as 10,000. How many male policy holders? How many male policy holders? How many male policy holders with charges greater than 10,000? So we have two conditions now. First condition, first condition, it has to be a male policy holder. Second condition, they should have charges greater than 10,000. Two conditions, correct? Right? So now, instead of using count if, in count if you can just have one condition. We will be using something as count ifs. Count ifs. Count ifs, we can have multiple conditions over here. So just first see how it is done and then try it on count ifs. So this counts the number of cells spe specified in a given set of conditions or criteria. Count if will just give you one condition. Count ifs will give you more than one condition. Correct? And now we'll understand the parameters which is very important. The very first parameter is criteria range 1. Why 1 is mentioned? Because we have multiple criteria. If you have multiple criteria, you'll be having multiple criteria ranges. A first criteria is it has to be of male. So which column I will have to select to apply the criteria of male? Which column? Column number? Arusha cannot hear you. One second. Is she audible to others? You all can type it on the chat box. I don't know why I cannot hear you. Um, B. Very good, Arushi. So we have the column B. That is our first criteria and the criteria is it has to be a male. So I will, I will select, I will select the gender column, column B. Very good, Priyanshi. Alright. So I will select and I will apply my criteria. My criteria is female. My criteria is female within the quotes. Why? Because it's a text string give another comma and then you have criteria range 2 so what is my second criteria all right but what is the criteria the criteria is the charges yeah. the charges should be greater than 10000 the charges should be all right sorry it has to be male I'm talking too, but too much about females, right? It has to be male. Sorry. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> actually, I always have, have this habit of selecting females. So, that's why. Okay. So, we'll, the first criteria is it has to be a female and the, sec male, and the second criteria is charges. Charges should be greater than 10,000, right? So, we'll be selecting. So, we'll be selecting the charges column now. That is our second range over here. Correct? Correct. So I'll be selecting the charges column. Now the twist. How to apply the uh, criteria. This is very, very important. That is why purposely I've taken this question. You want to apply the criteria that it should be greater than 10,000. This is your criteria. Yes or no? 1, 2, 3, 4. This is your criteria. Yes or no? That it has to be greater than 10,000. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. But what if I just close the bracket and run? You will not get your answer. You will get an error. There is a problem with the formula. Now, what is the problem? I'll tell you. When you are just writing greater than 10,000, Excel is confused as to in to which cell do we have to apply this particular condition. Remember yesterday when we were doing the if function, then we were straight away just writing, we were selecting a cell, we were selecting a cell and we were writing, is this cell greater than 10,000? Right? Here, the difference is that we are selecting group of cells. We are selecting a range of cells. We are not selecting one cell. We are selecting range of cells. So, in order to tell Excel that I want to apply this condition to the entire range, I will again have to put this within quotes. No matter no matter it's a numeric value, still you have to put it within the quotes. Why? 
because you have to tell excel that this greater than 10000 i want to apply this condition to all the cells individually so what will happen and one more thing listen to this very carefully the range which you select there are two ranges which i have selected there are two ranges which i have selected so you also have to consider that the range which you select will be of equal length will be of equal length i just cannot you know select more than maybe i'm selecting 10 rows here and here i'm selecting 6 rows no it will not work that way you have to select the ranges of equal length correct right so what do you have over here you have one column selected and the condition is male you have the second column selected and the condition is greater than 10000 within quotes and this is a mistake which i have seen lots of people making even i used to make this mistake earlier initially i you always used to forget these quotes now i'll hit enter and we have our answer as two you all can manually check you all can manually check whether our answer matches so we have male 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 firstly let's see now yahan pe we have uh, how many 10000 we have and you all can just simply so i think uh 10000 this is oh no this is female this so i this is one this is one male having charges greater than 10000 and this two now you can apply multiple conditions to this you can also apply whether the person is smoker non smoker so you have you will select multiple ranges and multiple conditions right is it fine count ifs please do it on your own and see who all are doing it with me just raise your hands who all are doing it with me raise your hands are you just writing it down or you are just doing it in excel what is it I want those who are writing it in Excel, practicing it in Excel. I'm, I don't want people who are just taking the note of it. Okay, both. Very good. Very good. I want all of you all to do it with me because you you know what happens later on after the class. If you are doing it, maybe the next day or maybe after day after tomorrow, then you'll forget small small things which are there. You you may forget those things and you will not be able to. Then you will be having problems. So it's better that you do it with me. I'll wait for you all to do it. So no issues. Just try to do it with me. Always get this in, get into this habit of practicing with me. Otherwise, no point in attending the live class, right? If you cannot ask your doubt at the moment. Okay. So we have count if, count if, count ifs. Now the next thing which we have next function that we'll use. Before that, let me introduce the next question. So our next question is. um total charges of male policy holders so here i do not just want here i do not just want the sum of the charges column i have a condition that i want the sum of the charges of only male policy holders so here i want to take out the sum with a condition so sum if sum if right so very easy function just see we'll use sum if adds the cells adds the cells specified by a given condition or criteria sum if now here the parameters are little confusing so please listen to this very very carefully the first right the first parameter is the range now this range that we are talking about is the parameter is the criteria range all right one thing just any one of you all can type it on the chat box what is the criteria range on which range i will have to apply my criteria on which range i have to apply my criteria on which column on which column do i have to apply the criteria column b wrong priyanshi it's not the charges column b this is the column on which i will apply the criteria the criteria of being a male the criteria of being a male right okay 
so the criteria range is the column b and i want to apply the criteria of being a male what is the sum range the range of which i want to take out the sum what is the sum range column g very good column g i want to take out the sum of column g so now when we know this so i'll just select the gender column I, i will apply my condition of being a male and then i will select the sum range the sum range over here you see the sum range over here you see is your is your charges is your charges so we just select this close the bracket close the bracket and you have and you have your answer sum if right ma'am can you repeat this prabhu okay so what do we see we have the criteria range first this is the range this is basically the criteria range you all can write it down so i am selecting the criteria range of my gender column right then what is your criteria the criteria has to be the male then my sum range which is your charges column so now what excel will do is that see again again keep this in mind that the criteria range and the sum range the length should be the same the length of both the column the number of cells you select in both the uh, columns should be same now listen to this very carefully what excel will do excel will first check the first row right first selection of both the columns here it will see that it's a female so it will ignore this value it will see that it's a male it will take this value male take this value male take this value so just all uh, everywhere where you see a male take those values add it on and give the answer do it try to solve it right fine just write a yes if you have done this all of you okay now my next question now my next question over here now my next question over here is total charges of male smokers so how many conditions do i have here two conditions first condition gender should be male second condition smoker status should be yes and if this two is true then give me the sum of the charges column correct correct so here you want to take out the sum and you have two uh, conditions for that so you will be using sum ifs you will be using sum ifs right so sum ifs not this is a little different than what we have done for sum if in case of sum if listen to this very carefully your first parameter your first input was the criteria range then we had the criteria and then we have the sum range here it's changing here your first parameter is the sum range your first parameter is the sum range so what is the sum range whose sum i want to take out charges column charges column i will select the entire column comma then we have criteria range 1 
सो वॉट इज योर क्राइटेरिया रेंज वन वॉट इज योर क्राइटेरिया रेंज वन वॉट इज द फर्स्ट क्राइटेरिया रेंज जेंडर कॉलम जेंडर कॉलम इट हैज टू बी अ मेल क्राइटेरिया रेंज टू सेकेंड क्राइटेरिया रेंज कॉलम ई विच इज योर स्मोकर स्टेटस एंड दिस हैज टू बी येस आई थिंक वील गेट ओनली वी हैव जस्ट हाउ मेनी मेल स्मोकर्स आर देर ओ वी जस्ट हैव वन मेल स्मोकर वी हैव जस्ट वन मेल स्मोकर सो वी शुड गेट द आंसर ऑफ थ्री थ्री नाइन सिक्स डबल वन राइट क्लोज द ब्रैकेट हिट एंटर एंड वी हैव आर आंसर When it's done, just write a yes in the chat box. Great. All right. So we have some ifs. <clears throat> Now similarly, we have count, count ifs, count if. Some some ifs, some ifs. Similarly, we have average if, average ifs. Suppose you want to take out the average of charges of male policy holders, then you will use average if. right it works in the similar manner and you will be able to do it on your own right no worries you will be able to do it on your own if you have any doubts you all can ask me in the next class no worries now next um function that we want to do over here now the next function that we want to do over here is the sum product function so basically um let me first um, all right so for example i want to multiply age and bmi of all the policy holders and i want to add all of them so basically what do i want to do is age multiplied by bmi plus age multiplied by bmi plus age multiplied by bmi and so on that is what you want to do right okay understanding so we'll be using the sum product function for that we'll be using the sum product function for that sum product and you just have to select the columns of which you want to take out the sum product so basically i'll be selecting the age column and the bmi column also again remember the columns which you select should be of equal length otherwise you will not get the answer so basically it will do 19 multiplied by 27 plus 18 multiplied by 33.77 plus 28 multiplied by 33 and so on and so on right this will give you the sum product function this will give you the sum product function so it's basically when you want to take out a weighted average kind of a thing and Uh, for the numerator, you want the weighted uh, sum. So basically, we can say that we are taking the sum of BMI where the weights are age. So it's multiplying with age and adding up all the BMI, something like that, right? Sum product. You can have multiple columns as well. You can have more than three columns as well. Generally, we do this when we want to take out the weighted sum, weighted average. fine it's okay with everyone just give me a uh, heads up when it's done
just write a yes in the chat box if it's done all right great thank you all right so i we'll do it till here today just the numeric functions why i'm taking it slow because obviously i'll not be doing the vlookup function today it's a difficult function and uh it will take time so i want you all to start with a fresh head and then we'll be doing in our next class i'll just show you all what we'll be doing i'll just i'll also share this file with you all before the next class so that you all can keep it ready we'll be having the vlookup function index match function index match these are two separate functions and then we have some other functions other important functions which uh, you may use in future so i will do this in for my next class why i am keeping it for the next class because it's a heavy function that we learn i want you all to learn it with a fresh head now uh, you all tell me do you all have any doubts related to this or the previous classes you all can first raise your hands if you have any such doubts no okay so uh, i'll share this file make sure you i will also share some practice questions with you all okay um maybe by day end so try to start practicing those questions try 